What's up, world? The wait is finally over. No, Kanye West's new album has not been released, and the villain in season two of True Detective has not been revealed. The wait that I'm talking about is, of course, referring to the next episode of Niner Talk. The only internet mailbag in the world is back. Yes. My name is Taylor Price. You tweet me questions, I read them, write up answers, and deliver the goodness right here on this set. It's time to start the show. We kick things off with this. How do you think the DB core will fare with T. Brock leading the pack? I think the defensive backs will surprise some people this year. There's gonna be competition for the main four roles with T. Broccoli being in the mix to be the top guy. I'm also curious to see how Sharice Wright fares in training camp, and if someone like Keith Reeser is able to unseat him as the number two corner. An improved pass rush with Alden Smith on the field for all 16 games will help the Niners pass defense. That's gonna be key when the team starts the first seven weeks of the season against Bridgewater, Big Ben, perhaps Carson Palmer, Aaron Rodgers, Eli Manning, Joe Flacco, and a guy named Russell Wilson. Trevor is up next. How do you think the running game will look? Will it be by committee? You will definitely see a mixed bag of rushers for the Niners this season. Carlos Hyde is looking to be the guy, and Reggie Bush had an excellent offseason. Kendall Hunter is a player the coaches know all about. You also have to account for wild cards like Jared Hain and fourth round rookie Mike Davis, who looks like he's not afraid to throw his weight around. Having several great options in the running game is a great thing for Jeep Chris offense. Training camp and preseason will be the time to see what each runner does best and how they complement Colin Kaepernick. Dion Carolina is next with this. What chance does Keith Reeser have being the number two cornerback and DeAndre White being our third receiver? DC, I think Keith has a pretty good chance, but with that being said, he'll have to beat Sharice Wright, a five-year veteran with 27 starts over the last two seasons. Reeser has never played in an NFL game, so he'll have to show out in training camp and earn that job. As for White, everyone's favorite player after minicamp has a chance as well but it all comes down to what he shows in camp. Everyone can ball out in t-shirts and shorts. It's what you do when the pads come on that will ultimately make your case for making a bigger role in the regular season. White will face stiff competition, but that's something he's used to from his time at Alabama. Hugh is next. How is the defensive line gonna hold up with so many new faces starting? Will there be a rotation system? The Niners have quietly built a ton of defensive depth in the trenches. Quinton Dial is a beast, and he could very well be the replacement for Justin Smith. Glenn Dorsey is also going to be in the mix as the other defensive tackle. And Ian Williams, he impressed everyone in minicamp with his quickness at nose tackle. No matter who starts, I do expect a consistent rotation. Darnell Dockett, Tank Carradine, Tony Gerardetti, and first round pick Eric Armstead should all be involved. For those scoring at home, that's seven quality defensive linemen that can suit up for the Niners in 2015. Jimmy Walker is next to dance. Colin Kaepernick and Bruce Miller at Camp Taylor Fundraiser. What exactly is Cap's charity? What were their golf scores? J-Dub, Camp Taylor is a camp for kids who have been affected by heart ailments. It's a great cause that hosts an annual golf tournament which raised more than half a million dollars last month. You can learn more and lend your support at kidsheartcamp.org. As for their scores, all the Niners out there were rotating around in different scrambles, so they didn't keep a true score per se. But it's safe to say that Jordan Spieth has nothing to worry about at St. Andrews. VIP the Breh, that's a great Twitter name, closes us out. Do you see the passing game improving with the addition of Torrey Smith and Reggie Bush coming out of the backfield? Yes, VIP, I see a complete arsenal of pass catchers around Colin Kaepernick. The Niners have the type of weapons where they can attack down the field, down the sidelines, up the seams, and out of the backfield in the screen and swing game. Jeep Chris offense is built to attack all levels of the opposition but what I've seen so far has to develop over time. So instead of talking about it, let's watch it all play out starting in training camp on August 1st. Thanks for watching this week's show. I'm gonna go back to my cave and hibernate. See you next time.